gym again and relive those moments and having the great Andrew Dundee, you know, training me. You know, I still got pictures, man, of me training that great, great, you know, we're training with that great trainer. Um, it, it was a very special moment, you know. It's just sad that, you know, I didn't get the chance to have him in my corner in any of my fights because, you know, of his passing, you know, untimely. But, man, that 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 was a great experience of my career as well back in 2000 and 2010. And, um, you know, God bless his family. And, you know, he had a great, great um, team. And they, they always supported me like if I was, you know, one of his sons. <laughs> Last question before we wrap up. When you rocked David Tua, what were you thinking? Man, it's interesting you bring that question up. That's one of my greatest performances in my boxing career. Actually, I was, you know, right before the bird fight. And, and it's interesting because people were looking at me like, why would you take that fight? I mean, that fight's too dangerous. And, and you know, they, they, they have reasons to that. But, you know, again, I'm a warrior. You know, I came from you know, from the mud, I mean, housing projects, I've been through everything, you know, the judicial system, you know, I had to beat that, you know, a lot of things that was trying to put me down, but I ended up, uh, I ended up, uh, uh, you know, overcoming all the attributes and that night, you know, everything came together and, and I was so dominant, you know, I guess a punch who knocked everybody, all the champions out, coach, John Rees out, um, um, uh, I've seen Rock. I mean, a lot, a lot of people just to name a few, and 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 it's just, you know, I was just so overconfident. Remember, I was in my twenties, and I did something that was immature, and and that's when you can see my experience, you know, you know, played in because a fight in that magnitude going to the last round, it was just one more round. <laughs> I would have been fighting Lennox Lewis at that time <laughs> in my twenties because Lennox Lewis was the champion. And man, he ended up catching me with a punch that he's not not really known to catch or hit or stop fighters. He hit me with an overhand right, and I remember it. I mean, he dazed me. I mean, it was like a like a bomb, boom. And you know, and you know, I felt it, but you know, he didn't knock me down. I mean, I, I was still coherent, but I was, you know, while my equilibrium was off, and I thought the the referee, you know, shouldn't, shouldn't stop it that you know, premature, even though a lot of people, critics said I should have took a knee, you know, instead of standing up, which I should have, you know, but again, that explains my inexperience at the time. You know, I wasn't used to getting hurt like that or, or getting stopped and, and referee, you know, pretty much, you know, stopped it. Um, you know, it was very devastating. You know, I, he, he didn't knock me down or out or anything like that. He just, you know, he hurt me. You know, I, I gotta admit, I'm a fighter. I'm not gonna hold anything back. You know, he's one of the hardest punches, not the hardest punches that that I fought. And I'm known to have a good chin. As you can see, I fought, you know, the Oliver McCall, the the James Tony, the Black Rhino, yeah, who knocked everybody at the time and I upset him. Um, so yeah, man, that was one of my greatest performances. And 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 after that, David Tour showed me so much love and 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 that gained me a lot of support. You know, a lot of people like Max Kellerman, everybody's respecting me as a truth, you know, heavyweight, because at that time they thought I was too small for heavyweight, but I proved them wrong. Size so just, you know, just a number. Well, like Bob Dylan said, let's bring it all back home again. So we kind of went on a little tour of kind of your journey to get to the heavyweight title. Let's just one last time talk about how people can get behind y'all if they can support in any way uh, your chance to become or to get your world title shot that you've been looking for in the last seven years? Yes, no, man, I really appreciate, you know, they, they got to, you know, follow.